Heba na bu sa bani bani ata. I am the girl, the girl is me And for today's video, I am going to be sharing some tips and some tricks On how to get free presets on Adobe Lightroom So if you guys are ready, let's get right into it <laughs> Okay, so number one First tip is that YouTube is your friend YouTube is your friend and the reason why I say this is because if you just um, you just downloaded the app and you don't know what to do, you don't know how to edit, you're like what is going on? YouTube is your friend. There are so many Lightroom tutorials out there, um, especially myself included. I have done a few and towards the end of the video I am going to be showing you how to do a film presets like a vintage film presets um just to take you know your night photos from zero to a hundred you know you know what i'm saying so <laughs> anyways um i must say when i started using adobe lightroom that was how i learned how to um use the app and i must say if you um type in free DNG presets. I'm gonna put it on the screen. Um, on YouTube, so many guys, so many channels are going to show up. But the one channel that I love, and he literally posts the best presets and the presets that that are within that are like you know still untrained. You know, it is Mark tutorials i'm gonna put on the screen as well mark tutorials guys guys so how free dng presets work is that you basically um open the video and watch the video and within the video there will be a password and you will use this password to unlock the preset that you are wanting it is so easy and on mark tutorials he explains it so nicely and it's so easy so if you guys um want some presets i have um watched three of my favorite presets and i've linked them down in the description below and guys i got you i got you i've watched the video and i um also put the password in the description so you just have to tap and type in the password and there's your preset Okay, so tip number two is more for us dark millennium. You know, all the good stuff. It's for us because um, I must say most of these presets are um, a little bit brighter. And um, you know, they're a little bit bright. And you must then use your creative juices and edit them a little bit and tweak them. Don't just leave them. As they are because they really are bright and yo, it's gonna look hectic if you just leave the preset so I would like recommend um, to maybe bring down the exposure whatever it is to make it more um, realistic um, I think that's a very like needed tip um, but yeah number three this is the final tip um, and it's similar to tip number two and this is more on the side of be different be your unique self yes you heard me be your unique self um, when it comes to um, creating presets um, because this is your own um, pictures these are your own pictures and it's your own creation at the end of the day um, because everyone has access to these presets but make sure when you get them add some flavor 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 make it your own maybe add color just make it different so that you don't blend in because everybody else is using the same presets i think that's a tip for me um but if you want to there's nothing wrong with that but i would just say add something just to make it your own um so yeah 
So now I am going to show you a little um, mini tutorial um, on how to get the film vintage presets and an additional tip when you want to take film vintage um, Polaroid vibe picture <laughs> that's a lot of words but um, if you want to do that make sure to take the photo with the flashlight just to add more drama to the photo but let me stop talking let's get right <laughs> watching this video i hope it was i hope i gave you some information on how to you know zhuzh up your pictures and make them your own again um so i will be back with new videos um hopefully i'll start vlogging again because that's what i love doing doing but guys i Thank you. I am so grateful for all the support and the love and some of the comments that I'll be receiving. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but if you are new, make sure to subscribe for new content and I'll be back with more. I'll be back with more videos. Bye.